So uh, we're coming up on the NFL season, and uh, you know they've done a, taken a lot of precautions uh, on concussions, which is great. Uh, we've seen a lot of publicity with uh, youth athletics, where they're also doing uh, uh, taking a lot of uh, new steps to concussion protocols, uh, things to prevent concussions and make sure they don't go back to playing until uh, until the brain has healed, which is great. Uh, what I want to talk to you a little bit about is. All concussions are not preventable, so they still happen. And just this week, I actually had uh, two young boys under 12 years old that both have had recently had concussions and as a result have had serious issues, headaches, not sleeping, low energy, brain fog, uh, dizziness. So um, I felt like it's important to address the issue of what happens when a concussion does happen. What's the post-concussion syndrome? Uh, reading up on it a little bit even today, uh, they have found that the, the syndrome that results after the concussion, uh, the severity of it, they, it doesn't depend on the severity of the injury. Okay, The severity of the concussion doesn't always equal a heavy or strong or stronger or less strong post-concussion syndrome that happens afterwards. So let's talk about that for a little bit. What we have found is with 100% of the concussion patients I've seen, and I would imagine I've seen well over 100, probably closer to 200, um, and most of them were youth, uh, that have come in after having a concussion is that we find that the problem isn't the brain. The brain has actually healed, and actually they can go and do MRIs to see that. But what we have found is something that the medical profession doesn't look for, and that is what's going on just below the head, and that's at the upper two bones of the neck. See, the top two bones of the neck, the atlas and the axis, are, are where the, the head sets on top of. And they're the most freely movable bones in the entire body. And if you can imagine the amount of force that it would take to cause the brain to get bounce inside the skull and then hit the other side of the skull and bruise itself, what is that doing to the little three ounce bone that that head sets on top of? What we have found is 100% of the time, the head has moved itself or misaligned relative to the bone underneath it. Well, that's huge because inside that top two, those top two bones is the brainstem. The brain comes out, the brainstem comes down through the top two bones. The brainstem is like the switchboard operator between your brain, your heart, your liver, your lungs, your kidneys, and everything up in the head, face, and neck. All the nerves come off the brain stem, like the optic nerve, the vestibular cochlear nerve. They control your vision, your smell, your taste, your hearing, your balance, okay? So if one of these bones is a little out of position, putting pressure on the brain stem, it can cause headaches, it can cause sleeping problems, it can cause dizzy spells, it can affect your vision, it can affect your digestion, it can affect your heart rate, it can affect pretty much anything. My point being is, is most the time, Post-concussion syndrome is not from the trauma to the brain, but from the trauma to the movement of the head relative to the bones underneath. Uh, maybe you saw the ESPN 30 on 30 special uh, about the Bears. Well, Jim McMahon says on that special on ESPN that he had severe daily headaches so bad that he was contemplating suicide. He went to an upper cervical doctor in New York who found uh, that his problem wasn't in his head at all, but just under his head. As a matter of fact, the top bone in his neck, this upper cervical doctor corrected the position of that first bone. And like Jim McMahon said, it was like somebody flushed a toilet in his head and all his headaches and symptoms all just disappeared. So if you've had a concussion, if you have children that have had a concussion, please share this video with them. It never hurts to at least get it checked. Let's check to see if there's a problem up here. If there's not, great, we can roll it out. But if there is, man, it could change your life just like it did Jim McMahon. Uh, if you live in the Charlotte area, give our office a call. If you don't, just Google upper cervical in the area that you live. Let's try to find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you can't find one, give us a call. We'll do our best to find one for you. If you live in the Charlotte area, Valentine, Gastonia, we're the upper cervical doctor for you. Give our office a call at 704-588-5560. We never charge for the consultation. We'll get you in. Let's find out a little bit more about your situation and find out if you might have an upper cervical problem that's resulted from the trauma to the head that created the concussion. If you do, I think we'll be able to help you. I hope you have a great day. Give our office a call. And we look forward to seeing you soon.